Hi, this is Dr. Vaibhav, consultant pulmonologist. Today I'll be telling you about uh, pneumonia. So pneumonia, as you all must know, is a wide term. So today I'll be telling you basically the outlines of what is pneumonia, what are the causes, how you can prevent yourself and what are the main treatment conditions which we use. So pneumonia, the word itself comes, kind of, comes from a Greek word which means uh, lung disease. So what we commonly use pneumonia is to refer to lung infections. So infections can be caused by various uh, pathogens. So it could be viral infections, it could be bacterial infections, etc. So pneumonia basically what uh, the definition is, is it is an inflammation of your uh, uh, small airways which is also called as alveoli. So these alveoli are the small air sacs which is present at the terminal portion of your lungs where the air exchange takes place. So any inflammation in these areas causes pneumonia. So it can be mainly because of it getting filled with exudative fluid. So like I mentioned, the causes mainly are infections. So bacterial infections are the most common ones. Viral infections again mostly seen during the monsoon season and winter seasons. They could be fungal infections, tuberculosis is another kind of bacteria which commonly causes pneumonia. It can be parasitic uh, rarely and uh, sometimes there are also non-infectious uh, causes of pneumonia which could be autoimmune or radi uh, radiologically induced. And uh, most commonly when there is a bacterial infection, there can also be a mixed infection with the viral. So both bacterial and viral can coexist. So now let's look at the risk factors. So who are at risk of developing these conditions? So the ones with the previous lung history of uh, any bronchitis, that is COPD, that is chronic obstructive pulmonary disease or asthma or any uh, lowered immunity status, the patients who are taking uh, chemotherapy drugs, uh, then the patients who are diabetes, who are uncontrolled diabetes. So these are the patients who are at risk of developing pneumonia. So now let's look at what are the signs and symptoms of pneumonia. So the main uh, symptom of pneumonia is cough, which is present in more than 90% of the people who are presenting with this condition. So the cough can be most likely associated with sputum production. So the sputum can be colored sputum, that is yellowish or greenish sputum. It can sometimes be associated with a little bit of a blood tinge or uh, what we call as hemoptysis, that is blood in your sputum. So the other common symptom, because it is like I said mostly associated with infections, is fever. So fever is again seen in more than 80% of cases of pneumonia and uh, the other symptoms were, as the disease progresses are chest pain and uh, reduce the breath, I mean difficulty in breathing so like I said the pathology is because the air exchange is uh, hampered so there is uh, naturally a difficulty of breathing seen in the case of pneumonia uh, so now again briefly I will tell you about what is the exact mechanism of uh, developing pneumonia in an individual so it can be because of micro aspiration of contaminated secretions Okay. So these contaminated secretions can be in the case in form of droplets where one can inhale the secretions or uh, it can be due to contact with your mouth or nose which has been touched uh, with a contaminated surface like in case of viral infection. So these are the most common ways how the pathogen in, enters the system. So once the pathogen enters the system through the upper respiratory tract, then it goes down to your lower respiratory tract where uh, your body's mechanism try to uh, counteract it where your symptoms of fever and all are produced. And later on the final infection happens uh, in your lungs that is in your alveoli that uh, air exchange sacs and uh, results in a pneumonia. So now uh, let's look at how we diagnose this condition. So to diagnose this condition mainly it is based firstly based on history and clinical examination so with the following symptoms which I just mentioned. So pneumonia is also to note that these are mostly acute conditions so the symptoms develop within hours to days. So it is not long standing like in case of bronchitis or so. Uh, so whenever you develop these symptoms, it is better you uh, consult with your doctor. So it is mainly diagnosed with your history and your symptoms. So the other diagnostic tests which are commonly used to diagnose pneumonia are first is a chest x-ray or a CT scan. Then it could be a sputum examination in which the positive organism can be found that is either a bacteria or a virus or fungus and etc. And uh, also we use uh, other blood investigations like the uh, CBC that is a complete blood count and uh, uh, inflammatory markers like CRT and ESR and so on. Uh, 
Uh, now talking about the treatment of uh, pneumonia, so treatment mainly uh, depends on the positive organism. So uh, once uh, you're treating the physician or the doctor has identified that uh, or diagnosed that the condition is a pneumonia, so the treatment can include antibiotics or antivirals. So there are some broad spectrum antibiotics and antivirals which your doctor would prescribe initially uh, with, before you could get a culture or know what exact organism you're harboring. So please don't self-medicate yourself, visit a doctor to get your treatment right and uh, also I would like to lastly comment about the prevention of pneumonia so how one could prevent against getting these uh, infections so there are vaccinations so vaccinations are mostly for the people who have an underlying uh, risk condition or initially like I mentioned the people who are at risk of developing pneumonia so there are uh, uh, standard vaccinations which can which one can uh, avail so again please visit your doctor to know details about when and how to take your vaccinations then the other uh, common uh, things which you could prevent uh, pneumonia are one is uh, reduced exposure to pollution then uh, control uh, your uh, diabetes and uh, increase your immunity basically so that is about it